happy Friday. Welcome to a new month, which means I'm scrapbooking with a new kit and it means you can find the kit for next month already. We've got so much to do. Oh, and we have, and we have, and we have in the house. Salt, water, taffy. Done it. I've got it. I haven't opened it. I'm saving it for right now with you. So I hope, I hope you're ready for this madness. Let's see who is here this morning. We've got Sherry and Kelly and Elaine and Mel and Gemma with the new baby. And uh, China Girl's here. Does that mean Scrappy Rick's here? And Orangina is here. And mm, who else have I not said? Sophia's here. Yay. Happy, happy Friday. I hope you've had a wonderful week. And if not, at least it's Friday. Let's scrapbook, shall we? So new kit for um, March looks like this and there's a video that walks through it so if you um haven't had a look at that and you want a walk through of the kit it's a separate video that you can go find um and i've got all this this fun yes so we got some rainbows and we got some nice b sides here and then i'll turn it over so you can see all those a sides da, 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 da. all right if I turn this over, how, how clever can I be with one hand? Boom! Look at that! Yeah, we got color happening this month. I'm excited. And I've got this optional set of um, petite prints. And I've added an optional set of pre, uh, petite prints for next month too. And next month I went ahead and added a stamp set that you may or may not want. Um, but remember in March I added no stamps and no stencils so that we could make a real effort to use stuff from our stash. Um, stamps and stencils from our stash. So if you've got any stamp sets that you've bought and they're still completely pristine, one, I see you, I am that person. Two, we're gonna get them inky this month. Cool? Cool. So shall we, um, shall we not waste any more time in finding out if this is peach? Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay, we're gonna do that first. And then we're gonna scrapbook about Bruno. Because if you're new here, um, in March, we do the Disney Bound Challenge and my son picks all our characters and clothes and all this fun stuff. And then we post them on Instagram. And it's a whole big community thing and anybody can join in and all of this fun. And today's theme is Encanto. And he dressed us like Maribel and Bruno. So you will see these on my Instagram feed later today. And this is him not being sad. This is him doing a pose that Bruno does at the beginning of this song. Um, and then this is him being happy again. Yes. And I did not have any floaty Spanishy type layers um, of, of, of clothing like Mirabelle wears. So he just leaned into, you should wear all the colors. So I had orange in my hair and I had purple belt and a turquoise skirt and a pink cardigan. Yeah, so lots and lots of color. Anyway, speaking of color, let's look at this distress color. Um, yeah. So we're gonna scrapbook about Bruno, yeah. We might not talk about Bruno, but we can scrapbook about Bruno. All right, so here we go. Oh, I don't have my embossing gun plugged in. I unplugged it for safety reasons. Oh, I might have plugged it back in. I might have been thinking straight. We'll see. I'll try to turn it on and see what happens. Let's get a sheet of nice smooth white, shall we? And what I want to do is compare the way I make a peach to what we've got here. Okay, so there's there's a bit of suspense, I'm afraid. Let me get my mat. Um, yeah, because I want to... I, I, it, it doesn't need to be perfectly my peach to be a winner, but I am curious how far off it is. So that's what we're gonna do. Did I clean my mat after I demonstrated the blue blending? No, I did not. Ah, what am I like? All right, let's spray this down. It takes two seconds, Schmel, so why did you not do it? Who knows? I have a terrible tendency for when I'm filming to go, okay, that needs to come out of the shot and I'll deal with it later. And then do I deal with it later? No, I deal with it now. You're seeing me deal with it. 
and I couldn't get the camera to focus. It's like I need a production team or something. You have to deal with me being just me and making all the real life choices. <laughs> okay, it's clean now. So the way I have been making peach has involved dried marigold and tattered rose. And sometimes a little bit of worn lipstick. So we're gonna put all three of those out. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I'm gonna get inky. I better do my speech first. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Claire is not sure if she's more excited about the new color, about um, can't do Disney photos, Disney bounty photos, or Sketch Hog. Sketch Hog's here. Sketch Hog gonna come out to play. Don't worry. Um, so all exciting things. Ah, right. Um, so let me let me do this. Make sure I, I take all my boxes. Hi, I'm Shamel. I teach online scrapbooking classes, design scrapbooking products, and help you use them to tell your stories in a creative way. It's not just my hobby, it is my job, and that means anytime I scrapbook on the internet, it's considered advertising, and legally, I gotta make sure you are aware of that. So thank you for coming to watch my hashtag advertising, always, and if you ever have any questions, let me know. The new kit is live, and you can find the affiliate links for that in the description. You can also find the link that shows you everything that I use throughout March, so it's not too late if you wanna gather stuff that's similar Similar to what I'm using in March and play along you can totally do that and this new color saltwater taffy um, is in next month's kit in that that April kit that went live today um, but we're gonna try it out now is that ridiculous that I just put it in the kit before I opened it possibly but I think it had to be done because we're mad about peach here like mad in a fat in a fabulous way all right let's let's get back to the desk okay so this is how I've been making peach. Tattered rose plus dried marigold. And then mix these two together. And this gives quite a creamy dreamsicle kind of peach. Yeah. So here it is on the mat. These are oxides, by the way. I did, for the first time in yonks, buy the normal distress ink as well. And I went, look, look this. I, I've never bought either of these products. I went almost all in. I didn't buy every single product. I'm tempted by the paint if I like the color. And if I really like the color, then I'm going to get the enamel pin. <laughs> Just because peach ink has become a thing. So it is, now Tim calls this a peachy pink. So do I think it's going to be different than this? Yes. Whoa, it's way different. Okay, here's the next question. Sometimes I make what I tend to call hot peach. I don't know why I call it this. But it's these then with this mixed in. Ah, ha, 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 ha. this is more it. Some of you spotted this during Tim's live and were like, it's hot peach. It totally is. It's hot peach. So why, why have I always called this hot peach? I don't know. But to me, this was like, if, if pink can have a hot pink, then peach can have this as it's hot peach. So this is Chamel's hot peach. It's really close to saltwater taffy. But the peach that I ordinarily make is not saltwater taffy which means there's still room. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, Scrappy Rick is here, just so you know, just so you know. So let's see, what do these look like then? Or can I? I don't want to, um, to muddy my brush and, and give you an inaccurate description. I have to make sure my brush is clean before I start. Kirsty says she saw a very pretty layout from Shamel with punch circles on Facebook or Instagram this week and wanted to scrap lift it but can't find it again. It is on my Instagram feed, instagram.com slash Shamel. I filmed it and it will be live later, but I need to edit it today. Thank you for enjoying the layout. Right, so here's my peach on smooth white paper. And here is my hot peach. Now 
And here is, I don't know, why is my cleaner gone? Clean brush. Here is saltwater taffy. Okay, it's really pinky, but it is hot peach. It's a, he's right, it is a peachy pink. It means we still have room in the lineup. <laughs> I'm just saying, we still have room. Okay, then the other thing I wanna do is stamp with each of those so that you can see it. The stamp, let me get a nice quality stamp. Boop, boop, boop. What do we got? Should we have an axolotl? Yes. Let's have let's have three little axolotls. <laughs> yep. The layout with the circles is called Tiana, Tiaras, and Berets. It looks like this. And it's on my Instagram feed. It will be on YouTube, but I gotta edit it today. Okay, so axolotl in Schmel's peach looks like this. Axolotl in my hot peach looks like this. And axolotl, I, yes, I should ink it from there, but I did these two from here, so I feel like to be fair, I need to do it this way. And then saltwater taffy looks like this. So then let's have a look-see. Okay, am I happy about that being the kit? Yes, I'm still gonna really enjoy this color, but it is a different peach than my peach. There's my verdict. All right. But this month's color is actually Mermaid Lagoon. Then my next question was, does saltwater taffy look nice with colors like Mermaid Lagoon and Peacock Feathers, or maybe Salvage pa uh, Patina? Um, because peach and teal is so a combination of my youth, and I need to know. So this one is Mermaid Lagoon, which is more blue. Peacock Feathers has more green. Yeah. So let's make some swatches where we get, okay. Saltwater Taffy and Peacock Feathers is, I mean, they're both lovely colors, but they're not my favorite color combination together and they're not the color combination of my youth, it's this one. Yes. Okay, that is, okay, that, that, we, May and I talked years ago, and it feels like years, it was probably like six months, um, about, like, could you make a very 90s color scheme if you put all of Tim's new colors together? And th this is, yeah, look. That one, plus this one. And then I, with the other, Salvage Passion, it was in the, Patna? Patina? I feel like with words that you can pronounce multiple ways, we need to, an answer. <gasps> that is the color of my childhood right there. Okay, so May, our, our theory works. Right, so that's all I'm gonna do with, with testing colors today. <laughs> um, but watch this face, I'm gonna do more. Oh, should I show you however, I can't, I, I lied. I'm gonna open up the ink pad and the spray. We'll have a little look. And then later today, I think I'll make something with these. So remember, this is the saltwater taffy. So there it is in Distress Ink versus the Oxide. And I'm gonna come back to this. Hopefully I can remember, you might need to help me. Um, I'll come back at the end of the live and we'll see how this has oxidized because it takes a little bit of time for it to go into its um, chalky finish. And then this, this was new to me. So let's see, I've never used these. I also bought, because I was on this kick, I bought this. I didn't, how did I miss that Dina made these? I don't know, I don't know. But I bought it in turquoise. So this is Dina's, um, Dina Wakely. 
gloss spray, glossy acrylic spray turquoise. Um, so I kind of wanted to compare it to kind of like Color Shine, Heidi's Color Shine products. Um, and I need to see the colors in real life. I was trying to decide if one of the colors is a gold, but I couldn't quite tell from the swatches online. So I need to do more research there. Yeah, come on. Oh, I just tore all my nail varnish off. Classy. Come on. Open. I know, jabbing at things with scissors on a live stream is just stressful, isn't it? You're like, don't chop anything off. Come on. Well, it is well sealed so that it doesn't explode in the post. I'll give them that. That's brilliant. There were no leaks in the post. <laughs> because it's sealed in there like a time capsule. Ah, Orangina says, make sure you clean the sprayer on the gloss sprays, on the Dina Wakely sprays, because the sprayers um, clog really easily because, well, it's acrylic paint going through there. So, yeah, that makes sense because anytime you get acrylic paint in small, there we go, success. And, um, yeah, anytime you get acrylic paint in small amounts, it's going to dry. So, yeah, that's a good tip. Not that I have ever used the sprayer on anything, <laughs> but it's an excellent tip. Right, I mean, how much do I need? How much shaking is shaking well? Um, <laughs> Sherry likes this one best. Yeah, the middle, or do you mean the middle one here? <laughs> so yeah, that one is dried marigold and tattered rose. That's adding worn lipstick. This is salt water taffy on its own. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna move this up a bit. And we're gonna splatter here. Okay, and we're gonna let that dry. And we're gonna look at it at the end of the live. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, that's enough playing with 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 that. Where do I put it? Here. Thank you, Axolotl. You're very cute and helpful. I like you a lot. Okay. Look at me trying to tidy up, but now you're gonna be like, you've got all that ink on there, don't waste it. So this is, yeah, it's all very confusing. <laughs> gonna scrap about brew no 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 okay so I've got two four by five photos sorry Claire there you go Claire likes the ASMR of this did it just for you Claire there you go right I'm gonna trim this <laughs> I always wonder if people who don't have a selfie printer are like, what on earth? So that is the, um, the feeder pieces for the printer paper that goes into the Canon selfie printer, which is what I use when I print at home. Yep, yep. All right. Paper. Oh, don't drop the die cuts everywhere. This is why I put them in all the different dishes. <laughs> okay. So the main kit papers, we've got rainbows, yes. Oh. Clouds, borders, 
polka dots. Pink. We're going to need that pink. Um, oh, we're going to need this because that has the turquoise and the pink and the rainbow. Okay, so we're going to have that out. We're going to have all of this out. Who am I kidding? Um, which one is going to be the background? But do I keep these all for dropping into pieces and use one of these backgrounds straight away? I think I might. Um, ah, 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 da, 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 da. ah, not that one. Okay. The light pink. What patterns have I got? I got wood grain. I got a polka dot. I'm tempted to start there. Okay. Starting there. Elaine says, is it wrong to say I prefer Louise's song no more? No. Under Pressure is my favorite song in the whole thing. Um, yeah. Under Pressure. And I really like Family Madrigal as well. Um, yeah. Under Pressure is just excellent. It is an excellent song. Okay, so with, this is how much space they take up. I want to get the rainbow stripe in there and then that pattern in there. So let's, let's get Sketch Hog to work. Hello, Sketch Hog. How are you today? Hello, Lou. Oh no, Lou's gonna isolate because her daughter has COVID. Oh, may you all be well as soon as possible and find plenty of things to keep your brains occupied while you can't leave the house. Okay, so we're gonna start with two photos slightly off. Then we're going to have this stripe that goes across the middle, which is the rainbow. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Then we're going to do another piece. Where's that green? I've got a green in this kit. But I want to see how it looks with all of that. Okay, so I want to make almost a seam layout here, almost. So we're gonna do like rolling hill of green. So this is gonna be like cut on a wavy line or you could even tear it, but I'm gonna cut on a wavy line. So that's gonna be green, that's rainbow. And then this is gonna be the blue do we call that blue? That color. Okay, so that'll be this guy. And then this bottom bit is just gonna stay the pink wood grain. So it's kind of a scene, but it's kind of not. It's only gonna be vaguely a scene up here. Okay, then title's gonna go on here. Journaling is gonna go underneath. Embellishment is gonna go here. Some tucky layers there. Here. With some tucky layers there. And here. Oh, maybe further over here, sorry. With some layers there. So there's gonna be like a, that is terribly not sketchy. Um, so there's gonna be an embellishment group down there, here, here. Because surprise, surprise, it's going to involve both um, a diagonal and a triangle there. So yeah, embellishment here, here, and here. Okay, let's go. So let's start with that green. I'm just gonna freehand cut curves. Be brave is fine. There's my hill. And I'm going to 
across here. It has tiny little dots. So cutting a straight line is just connecting the dots. Done. Now. Do, 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 do. I need, okay, I need the rainbow stripe first. And then the thing to think about, if you're cutting, if you're using this paper and you want to use both sides, because you want to have rainbow stripes in different layouts, then you need to cut everything so that you're going to get stripes. Yeah, because I need to go all the way across. I want a piece that's 12 inches. So if I didn't pay attention to this one and I turned over here and I cut that way, my rainbow now has lost all those colors. Do you see what I mean? So when I go to cut the blue, I need to make sure I'm still cutting across this way so that I still have all my colors left to have rainbow strips on other pages. Okay, so I'm going to start with a rainbow strip. And you know what? I'm going to use one of my favorite rainbow strip techniques in just a moment. Um, I'm going to do it now, actually, and then cut that next bit. Okay, so favorite rainbow strip technique or stripe paper technique in general is to use a border punch and layer it right over the same paper. Could also use a die, of course. Could even tear it if you are so inclined. But just the, the texture of layering the two over each other with the stripe detail. It works really well, and it's one of those nice little details. Um, what am I doing here? Uh, that you kind of, when you look at a page more than for just a second that you notice, I like things like that, and this is one of those. It kind of makes you touch the page in the page protector. <laughs> like, ooh, it has an extra layer there. So then what I mean is that I'm, whoop, <laughs> that I'm going to put it over the top like that, which of course on camera immediately disappears. <laughs> there we go. Something like that. Right. Um, uh oh, we got Scrappy Rick being funny, but I missed what he said. <laughs> I got to go back. I love it when I see reactions, but not the original line. I don't see it. Anyway. So then this is going to be... Make sure that goes on top. And then... Piece of there and here. And which side did I cut? Here. So I'm going to line that up so that I can put my hill on top of it. Is that about right? Yes, that is about right, except for here. this over cut this off so I have this much rainbow stripe left love a rainbow stripe love a rainbow stripe yes so okay that's done hello Barbara and then this right Sarah says what about popping up the this strip you totally can and it will make it more obvious that you've lined that up. Um, I'm not going to today because I want to put the photos over the top and um, and I don't really want that bit to be my, I don't know, I, I it's, 
for today's sketch, it's in a spot where if I start, um, if I start adding things, if I start popping it up, then I'm going to end up popping more and more, which is not a bad thing. Sometimes I do that. Um, but I just thought for today, I want to click. Uh oh, I'm going skew it somewhere because my line started in line and then they moved. So let's try again. So I'm paying attention to each color line more than the top because the top's going to get covered. Oh, I went way off. It goes a bit low here, but it's that's going to be covered, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so then I'm just going to tuck that top bit underneath there. But yeah, you can totally pop the the rainbow if you would like. And we took these pictures in front of our house because it's our casita. Yeah. I mean, ours doesn't magically do all the things for us, but it's our house anyway. Dun, dun, dun. Um, Lou says, did you like the new distress color? At the beginning of this video, I went through it all. I did it all live. My reactions, I unpacked it live. So when you want to watch on the replay, you can go back to the beginning and catch all of that. All right. So these are going to go here. And um, now let's find... Some layers and embellishment. So we got this big 12 by 12 sticker sheet this month. Dun, 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 dun. So this is going to embellish and we've got this pack of die cuts. We got this little tag here. That one looks good. That one. That one. Here we go. More pinks here. That one. That one. Because I want a little bit more of that orangey color there. Okay. Then I'm going to go to the tag cut apart. Because I can use some of those tag tops as layers too. So. on the front of that one. Da, da, da. Yeah, because I've got one, two with that color. I kind of want a third one with that color. So I'm going to take the top of this tag here. Punch that while I'm here. Oh, yeah. Da, da, da. All right, let's start with those. So if I need more tag tops, I can come back to it. See you later, Kay. Have a great weekend. Now, I haven't inked anything here. Maybe I just stick with that and keep it. To a nice clean finish this time. No inks. So I start tucking things behind here. Am I going to lose the fact that there's like a hill there? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So I think if I start kind of like that, that amount, um, and I want some down here. Like 
this. And then down here, I need something with, um, maybe I just add in a little strip of this. Or there's a rainbow scallop piece there. Do I run that all along the bottom edge? No, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like that's a starting point for a whole layout. Although it is very tempting to put it there. Um, right. Just add a tiny bit of this to the bottom edge. three down here. Yeah, okay, we're good. Let's start sticking stuff. So, one rectangle, one oval, ellipse, one rectangle this way. photo on top. There. So then this one's going to go here, which means there, there, and this one coming down the bottom, coming down the side. I'm and then this on top of that. So this isn't the actual embellishment. This is creating a little base of layers, and then I can put some more more? Do you like how I just said more in a really tiny voice as if this is a perfectly small amount of things? Not a more, but yeah. I'm gonna have this small and imperfect little border at the bottom. Like that, we're gonna layer a few more pieces. So we've got a base, yeah? Oh, Sophia is gonna get a coffee and watch live. Amazing, I should drink my coffee. <laughs> now, so things that we are going to use as embellishment. Look where I go, straight over those layers. Don't, no, that's, that's not it. Yeah, yes, and then this needs popping. So, bring me some poppy holes. Okay. Still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do to scrapbook that sticker. It's just, it's just hanging out there. Every time I see it, I start to sing, come to the cabaret, but no, no one wants to hear that. <laughs> so when you went to cabaret, you had to wear a sticker to remind people not to give it away. No photos, no filming, no telling your mates. <laughs> so I have the sticker, but I'm not telling you. 
I'll tell you, it was really good. And I'll tell you, don't buy the food because the food was a rip off. I made a complaint, but I never got an answer. <laughs> the food was ridiculous. Okay. I paid like 50 pounds for a packed lunch that was gross. <laughs> was not what I expected the 50 pounds was going to be. Okay, so I'm going to bring that other rainbow sticker, rainbow circle, over here. And pop that up as well. Come on, Papios. Pop it up. Bye, Polina. Zoe's up at 4.22 a.m. Have you not been to bed, Zoe? Are you like Sherry? Or are you up early? For the day, not like Sherry. <laughs> okay. So, I just feel like this is kind of what he told me when we were trying to figure out what I could wear since I didn't have any clothes that were the same style as Mirabelle. He was like, but Mirabelle's like a rainbow, so you could just be a rainbow. And that sticker says, be a rainbow. So I'm going to do that. Which then means I need some sort of little rainbow embellishment to come down here. I've got this one. Is that what I've got? That's what I've got. Let's do that. Same again. Pop this one up. And then because this one doesn't have all the colors in the rainbow, um, I'm going to bring in a text piece, I think, that has a word in all the colors, so don't get ahead of myself here, but next thing I'm going to do for that little grouping down there, then a title. Zoe says she's up early. She has been asleep, but she is up now. Ah, oh, but Margaret's up at 527 because she can't sleep. Oh. Everybody's welcome. Everybody's welcome. Okay. Then. This is what I was thinking. This one says, you make my life brighter. And it has all the rainbow colors across that text box. So, let's run that here. Yes. I'm liking that. Okay. It needs a title. It needs to involve Bruno. So let's get um, something that I can line letters up on. So we've got white letters this month, which means they're versatile, as long as you're not working on a plain white background. Um, but it also means they're kind of hard to see on the sheet. Dun, dun. So the question is, with the passing of time, are jokes that replace the word talk in We Don't Talk About Bruno going to not be clear, so I should just call it We Don't Talk About Bruno? Or, or should I make it into a joke? So Bruno's going to go right here because that B is going to sit nicely in that corner. Right there. But what should I put before that? What do you think? Dun, dun, dun. So for small letters, I have to stash dive because I've just got that one big um, white alpha, but I've got others handy and I have multiple colors available so I can find something that will match. Hopefully you can too if you're scrapping along. Oop, 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 stay there. Okay. Where did I put the little, yeah, the pastel one is right here. So I'm not sure. If 
blues in here. The blue in here is not the right kind of blue. Is there an orange one? Yeah. That one works though. Okay. <laughs> Good night, China girl. Oh no, Meerkat, oh, she ordered the March kit in the middle of February and it hasn't arrived because of International Post. Meerkat, where are you? What country? First of all, what can I spell? That's fine. There are no apostrophes though. Okay, well let's just work. Let's just work back. <laughs> so I can do about, no problem. Wants to split. Don't split. Keep your gluey bit and your papery bit. There we go. Oh, but spell correctly. Maybe it was splitting because it was telling me that I hadn't taken the O out yet. And I'm thinking, I go back to these bigger letters. You know, the ones I can't see to get off. Ah, meerkats in Australia. Yeah, Orangina, I think, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So Orangina is saying, use the, the same, um, the same words for the title. We don't talk about Bruno, but then I could go into the journaling with, but we do dress like him. Yeah, I, that feels very genuine. <laughs> Claire says she would have gone with you telling this story or am I? <laughs> Which would be really cool. I tell you what though, if I got WB to do some journaling and put it in a six by 12 next to this layout, and got him to like journal about the March challenge. That would be a really clever title for that bit. Yes? It was, it was, I would like it a lot. So I might do that. Let's see if he's on board. Hello letter T, where are you? There you are. <laughs> Sophia made the coffee and then found her unfinished cup of tea from breakfast. <laughs> We've all been there, Sophia. <laughs> okay. Now, the apostrophe situation. Let's see how I can get around that. Because this size does have apostrophes, the, the bigger one here. Human. So this is actually from last April's kit because this was the Easter color scheme. Oh, oh, come on. These letters and, and their simple story. The color vibe and this was the spring color set. Oh, it's still not straight. Come on. Oh my. Come on, straighten up. Okay. 
<laughs> Claire says <laughs> that title advice was free this time. <laughs> Excellent. I was going to layer the don't over the talk, but then it got to a point where you wouldn't be able to see the letter T. So I've got to layer the talk over the don't, which is going to be fine. And then the apostrophe. I should have moved it over more. Silly me. I should have done it the other way. Nope. <laughs> ah, I know you can't see anything because my fingers are all in the way. There. Okay, we got it, we got it. All right, now, we. Yes. Now, oh, that's nice and legible, right? We don't talk about Bruno. No, 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 no. Okay. And the journaling is going to go here. I'm going to do the first line right now just to check that this white pen is going to be nice and legible for the journaling. Because I'm going to journal in white. Okay, which is going to be low contrast, but you can see it, but just a bit of a, I'll give you a heads up in case for your album you think that's not high enough contrast, so you might want a different color, a darker ink on the pink. That's all right. Okay. And now. So we've got these little bits of embellishment. Let's add in the confetti and then see what kind of more is involved. There's never enough punctuation in sticker sets, says Laura. And Laura points out she needs way more dots so that she can do umlauts in German. Yes, I bet. Um, Dun, dun. All right. And some discussion about Australia Post, like it shipping internationally to and from Australia. I know it's trouble. Um, yeah, and I've had trouble with, with Australian imports too. That costume that went all the way around the world. Yeah, that was Australia Post. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start up here and do a little trail that way to emphasize this diagonal. Then I'm going to bring it down here. Small, medium, yep, large, medium, small is what I really meant. So these are quite spread out. I'm going to be adding more to them. And then the same here. Okay, so we got those little dots going around. Now, we said this month we want to get stamps and stencils that we haven't used into use. So let's see what stamps 
should I pull out and put on this? So, you know, axolotls and s'mores, that was what's sitting at the top of my, you haven't used this yet, so. And um, that's not, that's not going to be today's. Um, but let's see what we've got in here. And it doesn't have to be something that you've never used. It could also be a favorite stamp set if you want. It's possible. Just making sure that we use stuff. If we buy it. We liked it when we bought it, so we better get it in our album. Get some use out of it. Now, I need something that's relatively small, I feel like. Um, I wonder about these texture stamps here. Now, have I used them a little bit? Have I used the whole set? I don't think so. Right. So, bringing in... Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I need block. And I'm going to go with that Mermaid Lagoon ink. Now, it wouldn't need to be a texture stamp. If you had something that was a really specific thing, you know, you're scrapping axolotls and you have an axolotl stamp. Maybe not that, but you know, that sort of thing. And that would totally work. It doesn't need to be a texture. But if you've got texture and you don't have a specific thing, I don't have something specific to Encanto or um, anything like that. That's nice. Um, yeah, so then I'm gonna come up here. Now up here, I'm putting the same color on top of that paper. It's definitely gonna feel like texture. Oh, it's definitely visible though. That's fine. And then over here. Now I'm gonna pull the sticker off because here I want it to tuck underneath because this grouping down here needs to not grow too tall on the page or I will have some trouble. So I'm gonna tuck the stamp over the top. saw my little cleaner over here. Let me grab it. Oh, I saw it. Where did you hide? There you are. Okay. Now, I can scrub as I go. And then some little text pieces here to go with each of those. Right in there, right in here. Yeah, there is a nicer fit. And these are just plain text that's so gonna go in black because I've got some black text on white here. This one says, I feel good about this. Yep. And then what else we got in this set? I've got, glad to be on this journey. Yeah, that works. Would that fit in here? Yes, it will. Yep, right there at the bottom. <laughs> Marley says she, Marlise says she's put together a March kit from her stash have found plenty that would match and she can follow along as it happens. Yeah, that's that's the whole concept. So that you can either go shopping or you can um you can build it from what you've got on hand and use what you've got. That's the whole idea of best of both worlds. You are very welcome to do that. Um do I hope some of you will shop? Yes, cuz that's what makes this possible. <laughs> 
Yes. But you don't need to shop every time. You're welcome to, to follow along with Stash. That, yeah, that's all part of it. They're all good. Um, where can this one fit? Hmm. No. No, I don't like either of those spots. Here is better. Okay. So I've got a little bit of text in each spot. Now, let's see what else we can do. I've got a heart in here. You know I love a heart stand. <gasps> oh, but I've put rainbows on this. Hold on. Hold the phone. I have so many sets of rainbow stands. I love a rainbow. If it's a rainbow and it's in the shop, I'm probably going to get it. I can't, I, I can't believe how many rainbow papers I really wanted to add to the April kit. And I was like, Chanel, you've got multiple rainbow papers in the March kit. You can't do this. Um, <laughs> but, you know, don't be surprised if they end up in May. Because <laughs> goodness, I love a rainbow. Right, I had some rainbow sets pulled out. Oh, right. Is it these? Oh, goodness. No, that wasn't it. Way to go, Chanel. Does it sound very echoey there? Sorry. Um, you got all these rainbow sets, and then you pulled them out for a project once. And where did you put them? Good question. It's okay, though, because I've got lots of rainbow papers and stuff. Oh, here's one. Um, so, here, I found them both. Well, I found them both. As if I just have two. That's really funny. But that'll work for now. But I had that one from a kit where we had tiny, tiny rainbows, and I think the tiniest of the rainbows is still here on my desk somewhere. I used it the other day. Um... Let's see what's in these. So that's Ariel. That's Ink Road. Um, and I'm going to go with these little, this, these hearts. Okay. To, oh, hello. So I've got this little grouping of hearts. And I feel like I want to bring in the hot pink. So let's go with last month's color. Where are you hiding? Kish Flamingo. This might not be hot enough. But we're going to try it. Then we're going to find out. So I'm going to go where the blue. Oh, it's perfect. It's just that, that pink in that tab right there. I'm going to take the hearts into where the little X's are. Now, it might not look so cute up here. I'm going to do it anyway. That's okay. It's not as cute. Okay. Then, what other bit of color do I want down here? There's no, this green doesn't turn up anywhere else. Okay, now it does. Okay, so I just grabbed green enamel hearts. And those go where the two bits of stamping meet. Now, if you don't have green enamel hearts, other things you could do. You could punch or cut a heart or a different shape from the green to make the green confetti. Because you only need a tiny bit. Or it could be a circle rather than a heart or a star or whatever you want. Yes? But this color wasn't appearing anywhere else and it needed to appear in other places to bring it together and have the green make sense. So that's that's my thought process there. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. <laughs> Sophia says we need maybe a rainbow t-shirt on the suggestion list for the t-shirt design. And Elaine says, maybe we just rewrite the song to, we don't talk about how many rainbow stamps Chamel has. <laughs> or 
mean, I think that's just, that's, that's probably what Lin-Manuel's first draft was, right? That's totally it. So I can do dates and things like that in these little spots. I can add some twine. Did I put that green twine away? I had it out. Nope, it's here. So I've got some green twine that I can put through there. Oh, oh, oh. Where is the end? I found it, I found it. Okay. So I've got two little tags to tie through. Oh, come on. Okay. And that one there. And this one here. Tying bows live always worries me. Could go right, could go horribly wrong. <laughs> I feel like bows are high pressure. There we go. Let's even out the tails. Okay, so the rest of the journaling is going to come down here. And then, am I out of my tree to put gold on it? I don't think I am. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, just emphasizing this diagonal. Sort out Maleficent. Hi, Maleficent. Take care of you. It's okay. All right. Now, take that up there. There you go. And now I can't pick it up to do the thumbnail, but I think we're done. <laughs> so I do want to go through this one and show you. I haven't for the last few gone through and done a little run through at the end. So let's do that. Um, so you could turn this design many different directions. Yeah. So if you've got landscape photos and you want to turn it this way, this is still a cute composition. You just shift the title so that the title runs here and your journaling is underneath and kind of nests into this space here. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you just, the tags still work that way. You just change the motifs so that they're the right way up and down. And you could use, you don't need to include the, the hill there or you could make more uh, of an emphasis of the hill either way. So you could take the green out or you could make it bigger and wilder. You could make it um, be another, you know, you could make this with an edge here, like a border punch if you want to keep that sort of thing. But also, this is a composition that you can just turn a whole 180 because tiny little lines and groupings at the top work well too. And look, the glory of diagonal lines is that they still do the same thing, <laughs> yes? So although the words and the motifs are all upside down here, also the photos, um, but the composition is still fine. So if you wanted the, the emphasis, like the different patterns and things to sit at the bottom instead of sit at the top, you can do that. It's one that you can turn all all the directions. If you want to add more photos to this, you could do three photos across. Um, you wouldn't get much um, idea that this is a curved line, so you might want to leave the green out if you did three photos across of the of a similar size. Um, or you could make them three by fours, and then you'd have more room for the green to show, and still have room for three photos across. 
Um, if you wanted to do it with one photo, you could do this as one big landscape or you could do one big portrait here um, and just have more room for embellishment to the left. Helpful, I hope. Okay, so a little reminder. Oh, 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 I hope anybody who went and ordered noticed it at the top of the page. There's a 5% discount code for today. It's March 22, I believe. So don't miss that. And don't miss that if you're ordering today, the um, foam strips, the, the strip papios. Let me show you, let me show me. I use them often, they're here. Come here, where are you hiding? There they are. These. You get a free one of these with your order today, but you have to add it to your cart. And when you add it to your cart, then check that it came in free. I had to add it twice to mine before it came in free. The first time it came in at like half price, but in, and half price is nice, but free is better. Free is my favorite price. So yeah, um, da 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 da. Now, um, <laughs> Orangina wants to know what tree I keep getting out of. <laughs> oh, is a Benny and June reference, and I've just said it my whole life ever since. There are many things in my vocabulary that are Benny and June references. And I did once have two goldfish. Um, uh, one, both named Steven, one with a V and one with a PH. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was going to check on the oxide. You're right. Thank you for the reminder. I did forget. So the mist is dry now. Okay, my first thing I need to say about the Distress Oxide Mist, if you haven't used it before, is that it kind of... It kind of sits on top of the paper, so it has a tiny bit of texture to it. And not a lot, but like it doesn't seep in as much as an ink. But here are the colors now that they have oxidized. So that this was the Distress ink, and this is the Distress Oxide, so that you can see the differences. It's not one where it's a huge difference between the two, but there's always some difference between the two. Yeah. Uh, dun, 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 dun. This is this, yeah. This is I don't know. Do you? I don't know how 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 long ago anybody will remember, but there was a '80s into the '90s craze of like kitchens in America that were dusty blue and pink, and then I feel like this is the color combination that then came in to push dusty blue and pink out of the way was like pinky peachy color and shades of teal and it's right there so that was like 90s kitchen I don't know I feel like in the 90s if you lived with a, a target that had the dollar spot now <laughs> it would have had that color combination but where I grew up we didn't have target in the 90s and I don't know when the dollar spot came to be <laughs> but in my mind I'm just rearranging all those things fair enough now, what I'm going to show um, next time I'll do a, sa a sample of this. I'm very curious about the embossing glaze because can something be both a pastel, pastel, and a neon at the same time? Because that's what this looks like to me. It looks pastel and neon, and I'm very confused. Um, so I will um, emboss something and, and share. I'll make sure I have that done for Monday. Right. Thank you very, very much for joining me today. Make sure you use that 5% discount code. Make sure you use the affiliate link if you don't mind. If you are going to, um, to go shopping for the April kit because all that makes this possum, it, it possible. Oh, oh, oh. Elaine says here was not a kitchen color combination. It was a shell suit color combination and you're absolutely right. <gasps> Amazing. I can't believe that. But yes, you're spot on. You're spot on. Shell suits. Oh, things we didn't need. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. I'll be live again Monday, 1.30. And I am going post mad on Instagram right now. Thanks to the March challenge. So Instagram.com slash Jamel. Really appreciate you being there. There's lots in stories. There's lots on my feed. I'm going dizzy. Oh, and I didn't do the thumbnail because it wasn't dry. But it is now, so I'll do the thumbnail. Here we go. Hi. And it means I should put it on the screen so that I can see what I'm doing. Let's see, where can I get us in focus? <laughs> so thank you very much. Let's get you back on the desk to finish. 
Happy scrapping. See you soon. Oh, if you enjoyed it, if you give it a thumbs up, that'd be awesome. Thanks. Bye-bye.